I grew up in Colombia, and it has always been my dream to come to New York. I grew up in the South Bronx. I owned a restaurant, and I used to go weekends to my best friend's house. Little did I know, the love of my life would be at my friend's house. He asked me if, if you wouldn't mind to go out with him so you guys can talk and meet each other. So I say, oh, okay. Inside, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like he asked me out. <laughs> When I met Victor and when we started dating, it was love at first sight. I had to go back to Colombia because I didn't want to stay and lose my visa. And I went back with Derek. Meeting Victor's family was an amazing experience to actually meet his mom, his grandfather. It was a really amazing time. His mom was telling me that immigration had stopped him and that he was possibly going to be deported. Not knowing if we were going to be able to stay together was the biggest fear that, that I had. I, I just met this wonderful person and just felt like, like half of me was kind of ripped up and, and I didn't know what was going to happen. When I got to the detention center, I started writing a journal of everything that I went through when I was there. Pensaba en mis decisiones, en la angustia que mi madre podría estar sintiendo y en lo devastado que debería estar Derek. La pude visualizar en mi mente al otro lado del teléfono con lágrimas en su rostro, angustiada y dando gritos de dolor. Cuando la gente me pasó el auricular, alcancé a escuchar como mi madre decía, no le hagan daño a mi hijo, él es un buen muchacho, devuélvame a mi hijo por favor. Habría que esperar qué camino decidía tomar mi destino y mi vida en las próximas horas. When I got the call that he was detained, I would have moved heaven and earth. I went straight to immigration equality. It was a really amazing experience to know that that I wasn't alone, that someone had my back. They're going to have your back, they're going to fight for you, they're going to fight for your rights. When you hear those words of support over the payphone, it gives you hope to keep fighting. I was just so, so happy to be out of there, to be with my family and to finally be able to be with Derek. I woke up and I said, we're gonna to start a restaurant. We've been open now six months. Had he not been here, this wouldn't have been possible. If it wouldn't be for immigration equality, I wouldn't be here doing this interview. I mean, we couldn't have done it with, without them. We had to come a long way, suffer a lot, and work a lot, and cry a lot, but at the end, everything has a happy ending. <laughs>